everyone. Um, sorry, no music this time because uh, you know the um, the whole we blew a fuse since we're doing this on the blue screen. I know I'm not editing the blue screen. My my hope is just that someone will download these and and put funny things behind us. Oh, Jesus. Oh. What what happened to the whole Batman game? Bat nipples. Really? Bat nipples. Well, you're going to be disappointed very soon. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, this one's... This one is redeemable from Batman and Robin. Because there are, there are elements here that still really do work. Um, this actually... This movie does make the ending of, Bat, of Batman Returns kind of a character arc for uh, Batman, as opposed to just being a complete contradiction to his character. Because in this movie, we see that he's actually not encouraging revenge and that he regrets killing people. In this movie, he doesn't directly kill anyone. He's kind of responsible for Toothface's death, but that's that's kind of a stretch. That's similar to the death of Ra's al Ghul in Batman Begins. Uh, this one, he's, he's very clearly um, not okay with, with killing, and he implies that he was at one time, and then he, he regrets those decisions. Uh, so, I don't know, there's, there's something to this one that just it gets buried under the bad puns and the, the ridiculous costume. Really? Mm -hmm. I, I, all right. Well, it gets buried under the ridiculous costuming and the neon lights. Yeah. See, the thing is, I didn't mind the neon lights when Riddler was using them. The uh, yeah. and it kind of worked in the circus. Well, they weren't neon, but the the neon palette, mm -hmm. if you will, worked in the circus. But other parts of it just it didn't work at all. Like, the gang. The gang is the one that sticks out to me the most because if some guys wearing those things as a gang, they get shot <laughs> Um, I didn't mind uh, Riddler's over-the-top performance. Yeah, I mean, he was because, doing he was doing Frank Gorshin from the 60s show. Yeah, like, once you know he's that's what he's going for, it's, 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 it's okay. It, it, it's a little more enjoyable. Yeah, I, I think so, too. I laugh at some of his stuff. Tommy Lee Jones really yeah. is the, the low point of this movie for me. Um, like, the, the best part of Tommy Lee Jones is the first five minutes of the film. Yeah. And then... And then, honestly, it's the first two and a half minutes <laughs> of the film. Like, and then the other... Yeah. Before the end of that performance, it's, it's already gone. Yeah. It's, it's, it's gone right in the middle of the performance, I'd agree. Um, the guy with the... Oh, no! Boiling acid! It's acid! No shit. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. That's my hearing aid! Thanks. <laughs> I don't know, what'd you think of Kilmer in this? I actually, uh, I, he's actually, in this performance, I like him better than, um, a slightly better as a, um, his Bruce Wayne, I think, is better than, uh, Val Kilmer's. Not Val Kilmer's, but Michael Keaton's, Michael Keaton's. Val Kilmer's Bruce Wayne is better than Val Kilmer's Bruce Wayne. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, I'd agree, I, I like his Bruce Wayne more than, uh, Michael Keaton, because he's, he's still fairly removed, it, but it's, it's a little more. It's it seems snobbish as opposed to awkward. Yeah, and uh, I would have liked to see a better script with him. Yeah, I think so. I honestly think as you know, Val Kilmer, great actor. Watch The Doors. Watch Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. He can oh. really deliver. Um, uh, well, one thing also, I would, like you pointed out earlier during the movie, uh, which would have been cool. Originally, uh, Robin, the guy who guess who auditioned for Robin, Christian Bell, actually auditioned for this movie to be Robin. Yeah, I didn't know that. And I think we had good scripts, you know, Batman, you know, Val Kilmer, Batman, and a younger Christian Bale as Robin. That could have been cool. Yeah, I think so. I could have bought it. Um, I don't know. Honestly, this this movie really did. Like, there were a lot. Go there was a lot going on with this movie that just didn't uh, happen overall. Um, yeah, well, that's disappointing. Another fun fact: uh, Val Kilmer. Um, he never read the script before he was offered the role. Yeah. He actually got a phone call while he was in a bat cave. An actual Batcave. He got a phone call from his agent. Hey, do you want to play Batman? Okay, I kind of have to. I'm in the <laughs> Batcave when I just now got the offer, so... <laughs> I don't know. I, I enjoyed I enjoyed this movie in, in some ways. In other ways. It's, it's, fun. it's a fun movie to watch with friends. Yeah. It's the thing. You can, with, with your fellow Bat friends, um, you can watch this... I'm sorry, that was, that was a little forced. <laughs> <laughs> Well, but with your fellow nerdy comic book friends, you can watch this movie and, and find yourself enjoying it. Um, 
Sometimes at the expense of the movie. Other times, you know, there, there are a fair number of times when I'm like, that looked good. That was a cool shot. That was actually a good character moment. I really enjoyed uh, Val Kilmer's uh, scenes where he was the flashbacks. Yeah, those those were fantastic. Mm-hmm. Those were like, those are right up on par with Batman Begins, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked that he was more of a superhero this movie than he was an action hero like he was in the previous ones. Yeah, I'd agree. Uh, you know, like there, that's the thing is, no one died in this movie by Batman's hand. No one. Ba- there was no. There, no one was lit on fire. Um, or explode, you know, blown up. Yeah, no one, Batman didn't attach bombs to anybody. So I, the, parts of this really do work. Um, and it's unfortunate that they just went with, they decided to get rid of all the parts that work and go with the parts that didn't and Batman and Robin, uh, which we'll be going to next. But one other thing I really wanted to touch on really quick. I actually really enjoy the last scene well, the second to last scene with Riddler, when he's given Bruce or when he's given Batman the ultimatum between save Robin or save the uh, female lead, Chase Meridian, is that it? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. When he's when he gives him the choice, save Robin or save the female lead, I actually really like that scene. What just kills it for me is the costume. To be honest, it bugs the crap out of me. It it really ruins the scene because yeah. otherwise, I mean, it's over the top, but he's really it's it's not unbelievable for Riddler. Mm-hmm. Uh, another, th- another quick little thing I like to add. Uh, I love the part where uh, Robin and Batman get to the island, and Robin's like, "Holy rust is metal, Batman!" And Val Kilmer's face is like, "Huh? <laughs> huh? The 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 island it's rusted and holy. Oh, it's like you can tell the face. You know, Batman's even like, "Dude, this is your first day. You're already fucking up." <laughs> so. I, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Nice little, you know, hints back to the you know, Adam West. Yeah, I know, and that's the thing. This really was more of a callback to Adam West, which is interesting because that's what we really enjoyed about the uh, about '89 was this is very not Adam West, and then this, you know, Batman Forever is very much Adam West. Um, that's that's about all I have to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, well, let me let me rephrase it. Batman Forever is very much an updated version of Adam West. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, some of the CGI was fairly good, some of it was easy to call. Uh, the city looks really bad. Yeah, in parts. I don't mind the giant statues, I just, I think it's overdone. Um, I, it was it was integrated perfectly in Returns, but in this it's just kind of, meh. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we'll be moving on to Batman Returns. Na- or, I keep saying we'll go to Batman Returns. Which Can is- we? No. No, because it's like, that's what we should have done. We should have done them backwards, so it kind of goes... <laughs> um, we'll just, re- we'll just re- we'll re-watch that one and review that one, and maybe they won't notice, and we won't have to do this. Well, no, it's weird. I keep saying we'll go back to Batman Returns after I... Like, oh. it was weird. In the Batman Returns thing, I said, we'll be back with Batman Returns. Um, and I think it's just that title kind of gets you. It just makes you want to say, you know, what, mm-hmm. whatever. Anyway. Alright, see you next time, folks. Batman and Robin!